Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I would like to thank all of the viewers that have viewed my first video on my channel. Uh, and, uh, and I'd like to thank those that have subscribed. Um, we're living in a, in a country right now that many of us feel are challenging our right to our sovereign authority. And we don't feel like the government is working for us. So I'd like to take the time this morning to explain a few things about the video and uh, answer a few questions that a few of you have reached out and asked me. Uh, if you, if you uh, have viewed the video and you'll notice that I first started out questioning the individuals, they were a permit board, a construction permit board. A friend of mine approached me and uh, told me his situation, what had happened, uh, what they were doing, what the building inspectors were doing to him, and basically just harassing him. So I told them I, that I, I told him that I would be willing to help, uh, but they had to, he had to sell me the property first. So, and uh, without getting into too much detail of that whole situation, um, I appeared in front of this board, uh, for lack of better words, and the first one of the first questions I asked them was, uh, "Is Greenville is the city of Greenville a corporation?" And a matter of fact, it is. Uh, uh, all municipalities, uh, cities, and counties, and and uh, townships, the state, whatever state you're from. Uh, I'm here in Tennessee, so the state of Tennessee is a corporation. Uh, the United States is a corporation. Many of you all, many of y'all already know this. And uh, this really happened in uh, 1871 uh, after the revolution or after the Civil War. They <clears throat> passed a, an act. It was the act of 1871. Uh, some of you may have already read this. And uh, but that. That's what incorporated the United States, uh, or D.C., to be more specific, uh, and its territories. They became a corporation. The reason they do this is so they can sue and be sued like a corporation. The, uh, all, co all corporations have corporate charters, and uh, we know them more as constitutions. You have the United States or the Constitution for the United States of America. And then each state has its individual uh, constitution or charters. Okay, they're corporate charters. Constitutions are corporate charters. And all corporate charters have bylaws. And... Uh, so to to be really thorough uh, i would like to read from black's law dictionary uh, fourth edition fourth and fifth editions in my opinion are the best ones to get because later editions tend to change the word but what they meant in the fourth edition they still mean today and you can argue that but i looked up the word bylaw and I looked up the word by hyphen laws. And by law, uh, is the definition is by statutory, by statutory law, Board of Education of Union Free Schools. So a by law is a statutory law. Uh, by hyphen laws, uh, is defined as regulations, ordinance, rules, or laws adopted by an association 
or corporation or the likes for its government. The word has also been used to designate the local laws or municipal statutes uh, of a city or town. Uh, C. Kilgore versus uh, Granto, 224 Massachusetts, 78, 112 Northeast. Uh, 489 and 490. But of late, the tendency is to employ the word ordinance and ex uh, exclusively for the class of enactments reserving bylaws for the rules adopted by private corporations. In England, the term bylaw includes any order, rule, or regulation made by any local authority or statutory corporation subordinate to Parliament. That's what Black's Law says about bylaws. And so... The constitutions are corporate charters. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say, uh, though that's not my constitution. Uh, well, it is. It's the people's constitution. And um, I did a little research and got a, uh, a little thing here from one of the, uh, one of the uh, colleges, I believe it was. And uh, the... the what they had wrote was, and I'm quoting from this paper, the United States Constitution is best understood not as a social contract, but as a popularly issued corporate charter. The earliest American colonies were literally corporations of the crown and, like all corporations, were ruled by li limited gover governments established by their charter. Leading founders considered this new government a literal chartered corporation of the people. So... When I approach these individuals, I approach them as representatives or agents of a corporation. Uh, so if you think about it, the building inspectors, the police, the I don't care who the agents are. When you speak to them as an agent, you're speaking to the corporation. Um, I, I like to say it like this. Uh, when you let child protective services in your house, they are a corporation. They are a subsidiary of the Department of Human Services, which is a subsidiary of the state of blank. You let them in your house to question your children, uh, look and see if you've got plenty of food and all that. It's no different than letting an employee of McDonald's walk into your house and check on your children. So consider that next time you deal with these people. Uh, also, everything that's in that government is a corporation. If you're a part of that corporation, then the bylaws apply to you. They don't apply to me. I am not one of your corporate employees. That's why when you're listening to the video, you'll hear me make the statement that I am not a resident of Tennessee, nor am I a United States citizen. Because a citizen, by definition, is a subject. Sub means below. There is an an old Roman axiom of law that says what you create, you control. What you create, 
you control. Uh, those of you that are out there who are parents know this rather well. You've created your children and you are responsible for controlling them. We have created this government. We are responsible for controlling it. Uh, our government has gotten too used to telling mommy and daddy what they're going to do. Uh, it's like, it's like uh, I'm sure many of y'all are familiar with the, the screaming brat in Walmart uh, demanding their parents get them a certain toy or some candy from the rack. And instead of snatching them up and disciplining them, uh, they buy it for them. That's what our government is. Our government is a screaming, kicking brat in Walmart, and we're buying it its toy. It's time that we get control of our government, and the only way we can do that is to stand up and act like a disciplining parent. That's the choice each and each one of us individually must make. Uh, that's what I did in this video. I stood up and I disciplined the child. Look, no, this is how this really works. We are the rightful rulers of this government. We're supposed to take charge. When you don't, we they're spoiled. Um, and uh, that's how I am. I don't, uh, I don't kneel to any of them. Uh, those of you who know me personally know that I don't do that. Uh, these, these, uh, so-called, uh, courts that, uh, everyone, uh, likes to go to, well, they're corporate chartered courts you wouldn't accept a summons from mcdonald's to go down there and take orders from them you wouldn't do that those courts are treating you that way they are corporations everything they do is is a commercial uh, process they create bonds that's commercial just the fact that they create bonds ought to tell you that they are a commercial entity. There's nothing judicial about the court, so-called court system. They're all administrative tribunals. Uh, you don't have to grant them the jurisdiction. You don't have to do that. They're, they may do whatever they want to do. And in my case, they did. Now they're paying for it. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for joining me. And I will be uh, making some more videos. Uh, I'm an old school guy. Um, I'm not sure why I can't turn the comment section on. Because I sure would love to hear some of the comments you all are making. Uh, but feel free to... Hit me up on Messenger. I'm on Facebook for the time being. Uh, apparently, they said that my video was spam. Somebody's reported it as spam. But that's okay because I know how to deal with Facebook. Uh, they don't like putting me in Facebook jail. So uh, I'd like to thank you all for your time. And once again, all the viewers who who've watched my first video... I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you learned something from it. Uh, it may help to watch it again and uh, consider everything that I'm saying and why why I said it the way that I did. Uh, and I, I'm going to be doing some more videos on, on property and uh, some of the other topics that I hit on right there, but I just wanted to start this one out. I'm also going to do a video on on trust on uh because this is a corporation that we're dealing with uh so I will be doing a video uh pretty soon on on trust 
It's not important that you understand their laws because they're their laws. They're not my laws. So <clears throat> I don't really need to know about their laws. What I do need to know is that every, that they're all a corporate trust business entity. So it's very important that you understand trust law. And I will get into more deal, detail with that in a future video. But for thanks, thanks for joining me and uh, stay in touch. Feel free to uh, contact me through Messenger. Uh, what I do, I don't do for money. Because, you know, like I stated in the, in the uh, video, I'm multimillionaire. I don't need your money. Uh, I got plenty. Of, I got plenty of it. So uh, thanks for thanks once again for joining me and uh, peace and blessings and may the most high bless you richly. Good day.